Welcome, I'm so glad you're here. I'm Mara LeFay with Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. And today we're gonna to be showing you three easy peasy projects that you can do. Who's ready for spring? I am so ready for spring. I'm here in Southern California and the weather has been beautiful. So today we're gonna to be playing around, again, three easy peasy projects with the Pentart Fine Line Crackle Finish in two parts. I can't wait until you see how easy these projects are gonna be and so much fun. You're gonna wanna crackle everything, promise. Next, we're gonna throw down some IOD molds. I've chosen the trimmings too because, because why not? More is more and I love texture and adding trim moldings, whether they be in resin or clay, are just a great way to add some texture. Today we're using the IOD clay. I have a fresh pack. I love it. It's easy on my hands, easy on my hands. Gives a beautiful casting. Just pinch off a piece, it's that easy. I like to roll it between my hands because it kind of softens it up. If you live in an area that has a lot of humidity or maybe in the summertime, you may want to do a light dusting of cornstarch in there. I like to start at one end and work at the other. Some people like to use a putty knife or a credit card to go against um, the edge, the micro rim edge, you know, I spend more time, I don't know about you guys, but I spend more time looking for my supplies. So I just like to use my thumb. I use the flat of my thumb. I always know where it is. I never have to put it away. And I always know where to find it. So you can see how I'm just moving down along, trimming the excess. All of the IOD molds have what's called a micro rim, which means it just gently cuts away the excess. It makes it so easy, it's so user-friendly. We're gonna do that probably times, I don't know, four or five. Save your excess. If you've never used air-dried clay, you do wanna keep it in a sealed container because it's air-dried clay, it'll dry out on you. The nature of clay is that it shrinks and it cracks. Again, I just use the heat from my thumb to make sure, or my hand, that it's nice and flat. The flatter this is, the flatter it's gonna adhere to whatever it is that you're applying it to. I lay it down, gently unroll it. Shebangi, look at that. So good. So good. Let's make a bunch more and get them painted. I threw in a little bit of polka dot stencil for just a little something, something extra. I'm loving how it's coming along. Well, kind of, sort of. I did change the color of the molds. You'll see it in a minute. I think it looks much better. You tell me what you think. That purple was just a little too in your face. It needed to be softened up. Just a pinch but so far so good. So here I'm applying my fine line crackle in part one. It looks milky white, but don't worry, it'll dry completely clear. I've already done the centerpiece, so now we're just going around the edges. Make sure you put a generous coat and try not to drag your brush too much in it. Try more to lay it down on top of your project. Make sure it's good and dry. And now we're ready for part two. Again, apply it the same way. Make sure you use a generous amount and make sure it is completely dry. I like to apply heat on and off my project. And honestly, when you add that little bit of heat here and there, it really does enhance the cracks. It makes it so good. Part two is completely dry. And now I'm just grabbing my antique paste 
by Pantarp in Opera with a small stencil brush and I'm just going over all the little nooks and crannies in a circular motion and then we'll wipe it back. So it's kind of weird because at first once it's dry it doesn't look like it did anything but Pinky Swear Promise it's there. It is there. You just need to put in that um, that wax or that paste in there just to bring out all that yumminess. Check it out. It's really cool. So I'm using a soft cloth and I'm just going over the edges and the areas that I applied the wax paste and just wiping it back, leaving it behind in all those yummy crevices. Tell me in the comments, what do you think, yay or nay? No project would be complete without a little something something extra. You know, we had to zhuzh it up just a little bit more. We added the Pentart metallic paint with just a little bit of a dry brush. I think it really gives it a nice accent. Here we go. Second project, same process, super duper easy. We're using the ephemeral melage transfer on some really inexpensive three little vases from Target. I think it was like five bucks, not even, maybe $3 for the whole thing. Wait till you see how we transform them. Again, same process, zippity quick. So applied my transferred, apply a cop top coat, added the same steps. Step one, step two, added the antiquing paste in all those nooks and crannies and voila. So I started with my IOD Wood Gallery Blank in 11 by 14, added the trimmings, remold, a custom mold to the top, adorned it with the Pentart metallic gold paint, added some delicious stripes in pink, white, and a little bit of gold because let's just face it, gold just makes everything better. That same process was applied here on this as well over decoupage paper, step one, Step two, and metallic paste for the win. I have always been afraid of changes, but you show me life is full of faces. Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places, but we were young and unaware. Oh, I got you, there's no reason to chase and payment on the All the products used today are found on our website, www.vintageretailtherapy.com. Thanks for joining me today. What did you think of the Pentart Fine Line Crackle? I love it. I want to crackle everything. It just makes everything look 10 times better. I hope you enjoyed our three small projects today. Uh, pop it in the comments if you have any questions. And if you are kind of crazy, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now. us bothering every day we dance and life's been smiling we're not young still drunk